for those of you who've seen this video on my Instagram page, you know I love talking about negotiation. Like that's a topic that is close to my heart. Why not talk about here on YouTube? So this is a reel that I actually recorded and it went viral. It currently has 7.5 million views. And there are two types of people who are commenting on this reel. One is people who are saying, thank you so much, this is so helpful. And the other are the recruiters. Sadly, I've managed to get attention of all the recruiters on Instagram. And it's actually not good for me because I got their attention for the wrong reasons. Some of them are really mad at me for suggesting to not share the salary when the recruiter asks. They're not happy. They're like, we're not going to talk to you if you don't give us salary, if you don't tell us what your expectation is. That's a whole different topic. But in today's video, I'm just going to tell you like three things. My goal is to tell you three mistakes that you should not be making while negotiation. This is definitely going to be a series. So expect a lot more videos on this topic because as I said, I am super passionate about this topic. In 2021, I started volunteering my time to help specifically women of color in tech negotiate job offers. And I have helped negotiate over $600,000 in incremental salaries. And this is August. I don't know, I don't know when you're going to be seeing this video, but currently today is August 7th, 2021. So I am pretty close to, and my goal is to reach 1 million by the end of 2021. So I'm pretty close to reaching that goal. I think I'm going to achieve it. Hopefully maybe by the time you are watching this, I've already reached 1 million. Again, like just emphasizing that this is a topic that is close to my heart. I love talking about it because there's, there's a lot of data points on it too, but I, for the sake of this conversation, I'm not going to mention those data points. I'll do that in another video. In my opinion, women specifically and people of color do not negotiate job offers. And my goal is to talk about it on my social media as much as I can, because I want people to think that, believe that it's okay to negotiate their job offers. And that's exactly my number one mistake that I'm going to highlight. Let's jump into the three mistakes that you shouldn't be making when negotiating job offers. But before we do that, as always, give this video a thumbs up. If, it, if you found it useful, it would also help it get boosted in the YouTube's algorithm. And subscribe to my channel if you like to hear more on data science, career tips, negotiation, and tech lifestyle. And if you have any suggestions or questions for me, leave it in the comment box below. Let's jump right into it. There are three mistakes that you should not be making when negotiating job offers. Number one, and that's the biggest one, honestly. I, a lot of people make that mistake that's the biggest mistake that you could make is not negotiate at all. Listen to me, listen to me, hear me out. A lot of people, when they get the job offers, they are negotiating their job offers. So when companies are preparing those offers, those first offers, those packages, they are expecting you to negotiate. So when you accept that job offer without negotiation, guess what? You're just leaving the money on the table. Exactly. Please, 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 please negotiate. Negotiate. Because you don't know. If you don't negotiate, you are never going to know if you could have gotten more money. So this is the number one mistake that people make is not negotiate. So please avoid that mistake. If you got a job offer, please negotiate your job offer. Number two, not doing the market research. Not giving the data points when you're asking for the additional salary increase or stock equity increase or whatever it is that you're going after. You're not doing the market research and you're not giving your recruiter or whoever you're working with the data points that prove that this is the fair market value for the skills that you bring to the table. I have a few recommendations for tech specifically and they are more focused on the US. I would love to know if you have any suggestions for any of the international countries or for non-tech roles, if you have any suggestions for websites for doing the market research. But for tech, my number one go-to website, evaluating a job offer or understanding the market value for the skills that I bring to the table, given my experience, is levels.fii. Yes, I'm gonna say it again, levels.fii. This is one of the best tools or websites that you can find on market, on, for doing your market research on job offers. The second tool, and I know like, I, I feel like we need to spend a lot more time on levels.fii. Maybe I'll do another 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 session and where we can walk through 
how to look up salaries, what is the strategy that you should be using? Let's say if your company is not on levels.fii or your role is not levels.fii, how should you go about it? How should you look up the salaries? So maybe I'll do another video where I'll, where I'll do the screen recording and I'll walk, walk you through like how to do the market research using levels.fii. The second website that I would, uh, not a website, it's an app. It's uh, called Blind. So Blind recently introduced their job, their salary database where people have been logging their total compensation. In addition to that, it's an anonymous community where let's say if you have a job offer and you don't feel comfortable talking to people around you or people you know, you can always go there and um, talk to somebody, share your offer and get feedback from people who are already working in those roles and at those companies. So blind, I'll list it here. So levels.fi and blind. Those are the two of my favorite for tech research. Glassdoor, I'm gonna talk about it in a different video. Um, I'll probably do a tech tool, the, the salary tool video. Uh, Glassdoor, I'm not a, it's not my favorite. It's not on my top list uh, for several reasons. The main one being is that the salaries are low ball numbers. Those are, I don't want even wanna call it like the lower bond because those are like pretty low. I've been in various roles and various companies and I can tell you just from my packages that I've received, but the same role, same company, same level I see on Glassdoor, it's not the same. So I will not, I will not put a lot of money on Glassdoor salaries. It is great for interview prep. Um, I love, that's how I, uh, that's how I understand like what kind of type of questions they're gonna ask is using the Glassdoor. So that's my number two tip. My number three tip, is let's say you are in the job market and you have been interviewing for multiple companies. The number three mistake that you're making is not aligning the schedule of your interviews and your job offers. Because the most powerful tool you can have is a data point and when that data point is another job offer, your negotiation is becomes more powerful. Uh, the ball becomes the ball is in your court because now you have multiple offers so if you are interviewing at multiple companies and not coordinating your schedules not co coordinating your interview not coordinating your job offers you're actually doing a disfavor to yourself because you can actually use those additional offers to negotiate another offer make sure if you are in the job market make sure you're doing that so that way you have a lot more leverage when it comes down to negotiating an offer Three, summarizing three things that we discussed, the three mistakes that you should avoid. Number one is always negotiate your job offers. Number two is do the market research, get those data points in. And number three is align your uh, all your interviews if you're interviewing multiple companies. With that, those are my three big mistakes that I want to share with you to avoid in your future job search um, negotiation uh, process. So if you have any other tips that or mistakes that you think that should, people should be avoiding for negotiation, let me know in comments. I'm sure like other people would read those comments and find it, find it beneficial. And I'd love to know like what is your favorite tip when it comes to negotiation? What has worked for you in the past? So with that, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna hear more on negotiation. And my Instagram is full of negotiation tips. Like I'm just gonna show you here, like these are the tons of DMs I received. I receive like on daily basis where people are telling me that they use the tips that I've shared um, and they have negotiated. And I pick, I make zero dollars from it. Like honestly, like I am just doing it because I wanna share the knowledge. With that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video, bye.